Hey everyone, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to basically, you know, um, use uh, Paramico and copy the running configuration into a SFTP server. So in the last video, we saw how do we copy the running configuration into a TFTP server, but this time it's going to be different because SSH is more secure when compared to TFTP and you can copy the files um, from a router to a SFTP server. So what exactly we are doing here is, uh, of course, we are importing the modules like Paramico and Time, and then you define a function over here, and then you create a SSH, you know, uh, client uh, from from the configuration here, and then you invoke the S, uh, uh, I mean, shell uh, client here. Um, and then finally, what you do is you send the enable command so that, um, you know, uh, when you log into the router, right, for the first time, it'll ask you for the username and password. As soon as you enter the username and password, you have to enable, uh, go to the privilege mode by running the configuration as uh, enable. So as soon as, as soon as you do enable, right, so what we are doing here is we are going to send the running configuration, show running configuration, and it is going to wait for two seconds after it executes running configuration and finally what you can do is um, uh, we are basically you know uh, reading the output of the command here so the, which will be shown on the screen and then it uh, you know closes the ss uh, connection and it return the um, you know running configuration whatever you have done and then finally what it does is it uh, on this particular function it um, you know basically you know when you are defining um, kind of a you know trust uh, you're using um you know tra uh, transport as a transport mechanism as paramico where you define um the you know what is going to be your upload path which means like what is the sftp server where you are going to upload the file right so if you look here so this particular entry right where you have defining the cisco's router configuration for example the ip address of the router username password and then the enable password and here you are going to define the sftp credential so this 172.160.101 is my system's ip address and this is um using cisco as a username and cisco as a password and then finally you are running the configuration and finally you are saving the configuration here and uploading the configuration into uh, as using the file name running config.txt into the sftp server let me quickly show you where exactly I'm saving the configuration. So if you look, I'm using free FTPD and here I'm using Cisco as the username. So this Cisco comes from here and Cisco is a password which I have stored it here and I'm copying the file into a directory called TFTPD, right? So this is where I'm exactly copying the file. So let me show you. So this is the file, uh, this is the directory where I'm saving the running configuration from here. Now, let me close this up now. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to run the script and show you how exactly uh, you can copy. OK. So once I enter this command uh, router.py, it might have copied the running configuration. So if you look here, it has gone to the you know enable mode enter the password, running configuration, building the configuration. And, but if you notice, right, this was not able to copy the full pass, uh, full configuration. So I see a more here. So which means like entire output is not being copied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this configuration in such a way that it copies the entire output. So before I run um, show running configuration, I'm going to send a terminal length zero here. So which means what I'm going to do is um, let me update this description. Okay, so what I'm doing is basically I'm setting the terminal length as zero. And then after that, uh, sending the running configuration command to the router so that it gets the entire output without any breaks in between right i'll save the configuration now and again let me delete this file and then now i'll 
enter again. Okay, so the file is copied. So let's see this time. So we went into the enable mode, password mode, and it sent the command terminal length zero, which we did. And after that, we sent another command show running configuration. Those two are coming from these lines, right? And then finally, um, it sent, uh, it was able to grab most of the output, right? Till end and the privilege mode. And then it saved the configuration on my system. Now, there can be instances, right, where your router is responding very slow, right? And you might have to adjust with this particular timer to get the running configuration. So sometimes what happens, right, as soon as you run show run, it takes quite a few seconds, maybe five seconds, four seconds, right, uh, to get the output. So instead, uh, so now, in, even in case if your router is responding too slow for you, and if you keep the time slip as two, what will happen is your entire output will not get copied. So this is something you have to be very careful. For example, if I set this as one, let's see what happens. Will I get the entire output? Maybe yes, maybe no. Or maybe let's say if I remove this um, time slip, right? And let me run this. Will I get the entire output? Let's see. So if you see, I was not able to get the entire output. I only was able to enter enable and the password. So now let's say if I change this value to one second only. Now what will happen? Okay. So if I change this value to one second, so I know like I was able to get the entire uh, configuration. So as I mentioned, right, there can be some instances where um, this particular uh, time slip is something you have to adjust uh, according to your network and same goes with uh, enable command so you might have to wait for more number of seconds depending um, how um, how your router responding to your commands right and uh, also uh, there can be instances where um, let's say if you are copying the file to a tftp server or sftp server the sftp server uh, is uh, you know not are, are responding to your passwords or username at that time uh, you will get your configuration field for example how does it look like if i enter a wrong password right so if you see i'm getting as error as authentication field so which means my username and password is incorrect so you have to be very careful when you are you know running this configuration on your network make sure like the username and password to the sftp is correct you can also handle this in a better way by, you know, adding some, um, you know, exceptions for this password. Let's say uh, the exception can be like if I enter a wrong password instead of, you know, um, giving uh, this error, you just wanted to know that there is an authentication failure instead of getting all this lot of messages, right? So you can handle this exception very well. So. Uh, there are many ways you can optimize this code, of course. Uh, there are people, different, different way of uh, people doing it. But again, um, this is uh, how uh, on a high level it looks like. So I hope um, you like this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share this script on the YouTube description. Go through the script and let me know if you have any questions around it. Yep. Thank you for watching.